I'd like to welcome my guest, San Diego City Beat editor David Rowland and San Diego-based cartoonist Batten Lash, creator of the comic book Supernatural Law and whose work is published on the website BigHollywood.com. Uh, welcome to Evening Edition. Now, Dave, the Committee to Protect Journalists uh, calls this shooting, quote, a brazen assault on free expression in the heart of Europe. What kind of effect do you think this attack in Paris uh, is having on journalists or will have on journalists and uh, here and, and elsewhere? Well, we won't know that until uh, journalists and editors uh, have to start making those tough decisions in the future about what to publish and how far to go. Uh, I can just talk for you know myself, uh, the, and and probably for many journalists, the 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 first inclination is to get angry uh, and want to you know lash out uh, and stand by you know those uh, journalists who have. Um, you know, fallen for uh, for journalistic freedom. Um, you know, and almost maybe even be offensive for offensive sake, just to make a point, and you know, out of solidarity. Um, but then you have to stand back, and and you have to you know worry about people around you, the the people who work in your staff, the advertising staff, the production staff, not just the not just your your journalism staff. Um, you know, and it's so it's 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 a it's a time for um, professional soul searching. In uh, Baton, speaking of which, political cartoonists seem to be the first often uh, victims of this attack or, or lashing out. As a cartoonist, do you uh, think twice about what you are drawing and what you're going to put out there because of, of threatening behavior? Well, I, th I think over the past decade there's been a chilling effect where every cartoonist is beginning to feel, am I going to offend somebody or is this going to hurt someone? And I think that's very destructive to the uh, cartoonist and to the art form itself. I mean, I think the old expression, the pen is mightier than the sword, is more relevant today than it's ever been. Those people in France may have been killed by bullets, but it was the pen strokes that uh, just infuriated uh, those people. Have you uh, been threatened because of your work? I haven't been threatened. I've certainly been uh, um, uh, under the gun for hate mail and uh, 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 hate phone, phone calls. I did a cartoon with my collaborator, James Hudnall, and he was threatened, his life was threatened, and I felt I was in the eye of the storm for two days uh, where it was just from strangers and, and uh, acquaintances alike where it was just nonstop hatred for something that I thought was a very benign uh, cartoon about Obama and his wife. So uh, you can imagine if I did something really strong. I see, I see. Dave, um, how do you deal with stories as an editor that you know are going to be controversial? Either they're gonna talk about a, a religious group, terrorists, extremists. How do you edit that? What do you decide to do with that? Well, I usually decide to publish it. <laughs> um, you know, we're an alternative uh, weekly and you know there is a, a rich tradition of of being provocative uh, in our uh, genre of, of uh, media. Uh, we have a columnist who has been with us for an, our entire time, um, you know, in, in existence, and, and that's going on 13 years, uh, who's been with us the whole time, and he has pretty much lampooned everybody, every group you could possibly think of, uh, you know, from, you know, just about every religious group. He's taken on Jews, Muslims, Catholics, uh, you know, uh, Christians, uh, everybody. And um, I, you know, I don't think, I don't think too long and hard about publishing those because, I mean, you got to stand up for expression. Well, we're all familiar. There's many journalists who are killed in the line of, of doing their work, including many in Mexico. Uh, do you think it's more dangerous now to be a journalist than it was in years past or the same? Uh, tough for me to know without looking at the statistics. Uh, it feels like the tension may be uh, ratcheting up. I mean, you have journalists dying. Uh, journalists have always uh, died trying to cover wars, uh, but uh, you know, in the past that had been sort of collateral damage where they were just sort of in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, but now they are being targeted, uh, and I think that might have started maybe in the 90s or so. And you have journalists who are dying because of uh, covering the drug cartels and, and all kinds of reasons. Let me ask this of you, Batten. Um, what kind of action do you think we should take as journalists and cartoonists here in this country uh, in response to this terrorist attack? Well, I, I think we should just double down and just increase the satirical cartoons. Don't hold back. I mean, I'm, I'm a little appalled that uh, 
there was a cartoonist from Seattle, Mar Molly no Norris. Uh, there's hardly been any uh, uh, discussion about her. She, she suggested that we do a Draw Muhammad Day, and she had to go into hiding because the jihad was put on her. And Dave, would you agree? Do you think we should uh, double down? How should we respond to this? That would be my first reaction, but then, you know, as I get older, I may be getting more careful and cautious, uh, but then my, my next thought would be to, you, you're not just making that decision for yourself as sort of a crusader. You have people around you. You have family and friends, not to mention, especially, you have people who work in your office who, who could become targets. Yeah, but, All right. but that's true. However, even those people that say aren't on the creative end, they've got to understand that if the creative end has to pull back, who knows what's going to happen to them when they pull back in whatever their endeavor is, if that makes any it's, sense. It's sure. a slippery slope. Yeah, it's no a very doubt. slippery slope, but I think it, everyone should just stand together and say we're not going to be, it's really a, a, a wide, worldwide bullying that's going on, and we all have to stand tall over it. All right, Baton Lash and uh, Dave Roland, thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.